Hello, uh, I'm Reza Rad, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the features that we have added in the December 2019 version of Power BI Helper. If you haven't worked with Power BI Helper, it's a tool that helps you with developing your Power BI solution. Um, go and check it out. Um, now, what are new in these features? Let me start with this new layout. As you can see, there is a new layout. We have uh, like this menu, much easier to navigate. If you go to a tab, which uh, you can't do any actions before you select the file, you see that everything is disabled. Uh, like here, everything is disabled unless I go and select the file from there. Uh, we have much uh, nicer look and feel uh, in the visualization tab. For example, we have all the used, not used tables and uh, columns, everything in one place. Previously, it was in uh, different places. Now it's all combined in one place. Bookmarks is also added here. So fewer clicks, fewer, uh, let's say, steps to get to the place that you want easier navigation now let's check it out uh, what we've got for this version okay i can go ahead and start with selecting a power bi file which is what i'm going to do now i can select a file like this and it is showing me all pages and visuals and bookmarks these are all new information previously we didn't had list of pages or list of visuals we just had list of what is used in visualization but now in addition to that we also have a list of report pages with some uh, information for those report pages a list of visuals what visuals we have uh, what bookmarks we have bookmarks was pre uh, have been there but previously in another tab and it didn't have that much information as you can see there are lots of metadata information for each of these even information that you can see but is part of the Power BI metadata file and of course list of what fields used in visualization and the good thing is that this time in addition to the expression used we also have like analysis of that expression like this expression is uh, count not null of name in this table uh, and things like that and the good thing is another good thing is that if you select a table it is uh, select a page it is showing all visuals used in that page all bookmarks and also all fields used in that right um, in addition to that we have all tables used in the same place as well we didn't have that previously and this little one will just uh, clear the selection uh, we also have the tables used and uh, not used and field not used, which have been uh, asked for a long time. People that said we want to see also that information. So we've included that information also in the report. But the way that this works is that first you need to go to the uh, model analysis connect to that model. And to connect to that model, you have to be first, uh, you have to first open that Power BI file. So I'm going to open this uh, Power BI file in the Power BI desktop. Uh, that's how the connect to model works. Or you can connect using XML endpoint. Uh, I've written another uh, blog article about how that works. Uh, you can uh, paste that link there and then connect to that. Okay, I have my Power BI desktop file open. Just showing you that this is my Power BI desktop file open. It's an RD um, Power BI page, which is public, by the way. You can go and use it. Um, okay, here I can connect to that model. So I'm connected to that model. Then I can come to the visualization and select that visual again. Now it shows me that in addition to all of these things that I have, there is one field that I haven't used one table, one field, the profile ID field, but almost everything else have been used. Uh, or let me show you another example. Like for example, I can open this file um, in Power BI and uh, let me close the other one. You also have seen the list of bookmarks, so I'm not opening that one again. So in this file, I have uh, more items that are not available. And while this is opening, um, yeah, it is taking a little time. So while this is opening, I go back to Power BI Helper, uh, to the model analysis tab. It should be open now. 
Okay, it is opened now. I connect to the model, so that connects to there. Then in the visualization, I select uh, that report too, and it shows me that these are list of fields used, and these are fields that are not used, which are usually good candidate to be hidden uh, from the report. Uh, in addition to all of these, you can also export it to document and documentation previously we had it the documentation mainly was for uh, modeling and the MS script but this time we have documentation of all of these visualizations as well so if I can if I go and create a documentation of this is a, is a file that I can easily go and uh, open it with any browser because it's a HTML file so here is the documentation uh, all the visualization information, how many pages we got, how many visuals, what are these visuals, uh, bookmarks, uh, fields that have been used, fields that, uh, columns that, ha uh, tables that have been used, fields that has not been used, um, tables not been used, the MS script. If I'm connected to the model, it also shows me the model information and things like that. Relationship is also something that we've added uh, in this edition. So documentation has all of this information anyway. Uh, another thing that we've enhanced in this version is the search tab. Search tab previously was working but this time is working even a little bit um, uh, better. If you can just search for, if you just search for a part of expression, part of a word, this can be part of your field, then it will find all the instances that this have been used. This is the expression. So LE might refer to title, it might refer to sales, it finds it all. It tells me that which page it is, which visual type, that visual might have a custom uh, title, um, the name of the field, the aggregation, the table name, all those information, much better from what we had before. The MS script part is still is the same, we haven't changed anything here. Now another thing that we added in this version is Visualization 3. Visualization 3, we had it previously in Power BI Helper, but we've used it only internally, we haven't uh, published this for public. Uh, what it is, this is the visual layout of a Power BI report. The visual layout of a Power BI report is a JSON file which we um, scan through and provide all the information that you see in all other tabs. Now we thought this probably is a good idea to expose this information also to users. Here you can see for example all sections, these report sections are report pages, under them you'll see visual containers which are your visuals and all those information right this is where we scan that information and get them all visualized in the visualization tab m script and uh, not m script m script is a, a different part of that file uh, but quite useful information if you want to track what is in your file uh, the model analysis tab, um, we had list of um, tables and visualizations, in, um, uh, sorry, tables, columns and measures there, so nothing especially changed on that side. However, we've added some uh, extra parts in it. Now you can see expressions for all of these at the same time. Uh, expression for the table, expression for the column, and expression for a measure. So if I connect to a model that I have more calculation in it, let me just... Uh, bring that model. Mm, let's say I connect to a model with some DAX calculations in it. If I connect to a model like that, um, in addition to seeing list of tables, columns, visuals, and, and uh, table columns and measures, uh, and clicking on each, I would be able to see the expressions. Okay, the model is open. Um, being able to see the expressions of each. So here, if I connect to the model, um, this is my my model with all the files, I can, uh, all the tables, I can go and select a table. That table might be a calculator table. It shows me the expression of that table. This part is also an important part, the dependency list. This will show me uh, in which calculations uh, this have been used uh, or something from that table have been used like for example from dim customer in which calculation we had used something or from a field this field have been used in what places like for example if i select the sales table under the sales table if i select sales amount 
column. I can see that sales amount column have been used in some measures, calculated columns, this is their expression, all those kind of information. Uh, in addition to that, this is the part that you would get most excited about, is that we all we had this um, dependency tree before that you select a measure and it shows that this measure is coming from another measure. So we had this, now we have it a little bit more beautiful with some icons showing measure table column. But we also have this one, reverse dependency tree, which is very useful. We use it most often uh, even more than uh, the dependency tree. This is telling me that in which other calculations this have been used, the tree of using this in other calculations. Like for example, if I select sales rolling 12 months, so the uh, measure dependency tree show me that this is created from this table, this column, some other measures, but this one, reverse dependency tree, is telling me that this measure have been used in uh, sales average rolling 12 months and that has been used in sales uh, super measure right so it shows you which areas this have been used to which is very useful um, um, okay so um, talking about uh, all these uh, changes we have done in the modeling advice we have list of all um, relationships with more details previously it was just showing you that these are both directional or these are uh, inactive relationship but now you can see all information about relationships uh, is it active not active which table to which table what is cardinality uh, quite useful information and this information is uh, produced as a documentation as well uh, DMV Explorer. Uh, if you have used DAX Studio, in DAX Studio there, are, there is a DMV Explorer which is quite uh, useful. We thought it is good for users to see it as well. When you connect it to a model, uh, DMVs or dynamic management views are views that can give you some information about your analysis services model. Power BI model is an analysis services model, right? So I can select any of these DMVs and see the information. Like for example, this provides columns information, this provides data source information, expressions, hierarchies, levels, measures, and anything, right? Some of these DMVs might not return something because you might not have used it. Like for example, in this model, I don't use roles, so I don't have anything in the roles. Uh, very useful. Uh, you can just play with it and see the result of that here. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is a compare tab, which is what we've added very recently. This is like the first edition of that added. Um, Imke, a Power BI MVP, she created a stunning tool called Power BI Comparer, which compares two Power BI files with each other. It's a free tool. I recommend you to go ahead and check it out. Um, we thought something similar to that, not exactly like that. Similar to that would be helpful for uh, users of Power BI Helper. So the way that it works is that you have one Power BI file selected in your visualization tab. You can select another Power BI file. Let's say this is another one. And I can compare these side by side. I can see that, for example, uh, in this um, file, I have these four pages. In this one, I have three pages. So I can see that the page sales page is missing. Or even if I select a page, I can see what is the difference. Here you can see that in the rating page, I have four visuals here versus three visuals here. Bookmarks and things like that. Uh, you can also, you can check all of them in this list. Uh, the tree, the visual tree for these two will show and you get some like color coding of things that are missing or a little bit different. And the M script, uh, we don't really do any um, highlighting or anything in the M script. At this stage, you just see the M script, the two uh, side by side. Uh, this tab has the potential to have more um, features into that. But for now, this is the first edition of that. So here you go. This was a run through of Power BI Helper. Go ahead and download it and use it. If you have any questions, any feedbacks, any comments, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.